All right, here we go. Looking like Demacia. All right, let's open them both. Here we go. Oh my god, it's so zoomed in. Here we go. After this, there is one day left when we'll be getting the champion. So let's look at the supporting cards. Legionary Charge, two mana burst from Noxus. Draw an ally with five plus power or grow an ally to five power this round. Okay, that's, that's actually pretty good because of the flexibility, right? Grow an ally to, f that has to be good. That has to actually be insanely good. Like this with Ash, isn't this crazy with Ash? Like Ash plays cards like Omenhawk. It plays cards like uh, Sentry. That's a really cool card. Like the flexibility, you can't sleep on that. Another Ash buff. Yeah, here it is. This is why Ash kind of missed the buff last patch because they were printing this card. It's anti quietus Yeah, finally the quietest counter. Ah, oh, this is good. This is a really good card. I like this. Aggro is back. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're playing as an aggro deck and you're like attacking with your with your two one, your Legion Saboteur, and then suddenly, hey, boom, plus three attack. That's that's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, Brutal Skirmish, three mana fast, destroy an enemy's equipment, an ally and that enemy strike each other. Wait, they gave Noxus single combat? Wait, what the hell? Wait, it's, it's one more mana, okay? A lot of single combat's power comes from it being two mana. And single combat is not being played in a lot of decks. But in Noxus, they have such high attack. And you're destroying an enemy's equipment. I, uh, this, this, <laughs> there's just no way this is bad, right? N no, listen up. Uh, single combat is still a lot better. Single combat is definitely better because it's in, in a region that has higher health stats overall. And, you know, the one mana makes a big difference. This is, this is still really good, though. Like, I think you love this. You absolutely love this card, Nash. I think this is potentially better than Bloody Business, even. Beca because you can just toss it out whenever you want. Noxus does not have barrier. Yeah, that's true as well. I think this is like, like these cards seem great in Ash, but that's like the first actual playable reputation deck I think of. So I'm sure there's a concept like somewhere that could use this. Even if you're playing like Kane Noxus, like Kane also loves this card. Really, really good. Rune Squire. This is, uh, this is looking like a Riven card. Oh yeah, went up someone reforge. Wait, a two mana two one challenger that ref. This is broken. This card is actually broken. This card is so stupidly good. Like, you have to realize that th this happened a lot on the Asia server. In the Asia server, there were a couple of Riven Quinn players that were super high up on the level, on, on the ladder, every single season. Because you can play cards like Genevieve, you can play cards like Valor, and yeah, they have to scout keyword, but giving something plus two attack and quick attack on a challenger is so good. And this card reforges itself. This is so much better than a 3-1. It, like, it's not even close. That's so, so, so good. I love this card. I mean, you guys know I like playing Riven. I brought Victor Riven to Seasonals, and I would have absolutely played this card in my deck. 100%. It's a Reforge. Not, yeah, it, it, Re, Reforge is a... Wait, Re, it, it, is, it is what Riven does, right? Am I losing it? Yeah, Reforge. This is a Riven. Okay, good. All right, hold on. Let's see if the new cards are here. Okay, they're here. So we'll do the rest like this. Very good card. I think that is an insane card. Super, super good. All right, we got the spatula. All right, we're officially TFT now. Two mana burst from Demacia. Create an Acathian Mirage in hand that costs zero this round or create a golden spatula in hand. Wait, the, the Acathian Mirage is the is a three two. Okay, so what is a golden spatula? A two mana plus three plus two equipment. Wait. Wait, did this cost zero? Oh no, okay, so this this still cost- I mean, this is honestly pretty good. This is honestly pretty good, but it's really weird. A four mana plus three plus two, but then later on, if you keep re-equipping it, it's just two mana. It works with catch, that's true. That's actually really funny. Like, imagine you're in combat, and you have the burst spell in your hand, the two mana burst in your hand, and you have catch in your hand. Then you're just- okay, I mean, then you're just giving something plus three plus two for three mana, which is- yeah, okay, well, no, it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, okay, no, I, I mean, I think it's funny, but it's it's not great. No, it's not great. It, oh, is it Weapon Master? That, that, ma that matters. It's not a Weapon Master. It's not a Weapon Master. Seraphine, if, if, if Seraphine generates this, you're actually pretty happy, I think. Yeah. Gaming Grandma, thank you for the rates. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Hope you had a good one.
Okay, um, no, this card, I don't think it's very good. It's, it's exciting, though. It's, it's a fun card. It's a fun card. But I wouldn't put this in my deck. The Darken Aegis. Here we go. We get the third Darken. This expansion is for the Masia. Two mana plus one plus one. Tough, you may spend five mana to play me as Jural. Okay, two mana plus one plus one. Tough is... is it's decent. It's decent. I, I wouldn't call that bad. Five mana, four, three. Challenger, tough. Your opponent's spell costs two more while I am attacking. <laughs> uh, okay. Huh. What? What is this? Is that good? That's a five mana, four, three, though. With I tough. Eight months. Also, I, Kathy, and Myth should be a weapon master. Jax needs some love, Snooey, sad. Yo, Club Boy, thank you for the eight months. Seraphine, yeah, here's the Seraphine counter. This kills Seraphine, and you can't play your spells in your spell deck. Anti Telstone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, huh. I, uh, the flexibility, again, is everything, though. Like, you're playing Demacia, you're playing your weapon as a two mana plus one plus one gift tough, and then if you're playing against a Ionia deck, if you're playing against a Seraphine deck, then you're like, hey, maybe I play Jural this time. Yeah, uh, I think this is quite good. Uh, like, I think Demacia likes this. The, the thing is, you, you, Demacia really likes these type of cards that go back to their hand. Like, Demacia is just pretty good at keeping hand advantage. And that's why Demacia has a really sim play as any type of value deck. They've just been a rally deck, right? You play some good stats, you play your Broadwing, you rally, you're having a good time because you're probably winning if you play these cards, but they never play the value game. With the weapon and Jural, you can kind of go in that direction a little bit more. I think Gerald is pretty good for that. It's the flexibility. Like, sure, a 5-mana 4-3, no, not that good. But if this was anything else for the Masia, hmm, I don't know. You'd have a hard time making that balance. Yeah, no, good card. This is, it's pretty good. It's, uh, I, I, I think this will see play in the Masia, for sure. There will be a Demacia deck that is happy to play Gerald on the weapon. And that was it. Right? That was everything? Okay, pretty, uh, pretty short and sweet man uh, these noxus cards especially though are very powerful really 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 powerful card art yeah i, I think we saw this dude in the in the trailer and aatrox is yelling oh, oh you can see him fully now whoa wait who is this darkin oh you guys can see wait the chat is in front of it that's aatrox versus somebody this looks like fraliard weapon it does yeah, this pretty much has to be the Fralia one, because we saw it in the background of that ice spell, and they saw these shoulder pads. <sighs> Whew! Well, here he is! Aatrox, dude. Aatrox is such a badass. I actually can't wait for him to be added to the game. Okay, yeah, there's not really that much to say about these cards. I, I'm personally really excited for the Rune Squire. Again, I love Riven. Riven is uh, one of my highest mastery champions. Um, a 2-mana two 2-1 two challenger that adds a blade fragment to your hand is very powerful. Like, even later in the game, like, if you're, if you're later, later in the game, you really, really hate drawing that 3-1 that just gives a blade fragment. Unless you really need to blade fragments, you're not very happy seeing that. But this, if you have some fragments in your hand, you just give this your stuff. Like, you give this your quick attack, you give this your plus 2 attack, you're gonna, you're gonna be happy winning a trade and keeping your unit. That's just really good. Fantastic card. This will absolutely make Riven more playable. Yeah, but we, we were supposed to get Vein support because we're getting the third champion tomorrow. I Is this supposed to be Vein support? I, I, I don't know. There, this is breaking the pattern of what we're used to. Maybe, maybe these are Vein support, but I don't see any, you know, Demon Hunter stuff or Monster Hunter stuff. I, I don't know. Very, very strange what's going on here, but tomorrow we're going to find out. So, um, by far the strangest reveals we've had so far. I, I will also say that if you go down on this list every single day and almost every single card, except this abomination, where is he? Yeah, this one, except this utter abomination. This dude, like, I don't know what the hell happened here, but everything else is a really, really good card. They have actually been power creeping 
I don't want to say power creep because it's not like some cards are obviously stronger than others, but they've just released cards with a really high power level from what it seems. Obviously, we still need to see them in game, find out what it feels like maybe. Like, I think Varus looked really bland, but I think Varus is going to be one of the more powerful cards of the expansion. Same with Seraphine, but you know, Seraphine is a little more in your face, obviously very, very strong. And then, you know, all this powerful stuff, some sweet stuff like the Wraith of Echoes, Moonlit Glenkeeper, super strong. And then you look at this and you're like, huh, what, uh, what happened here? Everything is so powerful. And then they kept like all the less than, you know, less than super good cards for one single day. So I, I, I'm satisfied with the Rune Squire. That's enough for me to get excited. But the rest... I don't know. Let me know what you think.